Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Scum Survival. So we've just came back from the nuclear power plant. For those who do not know that nuclear power plant is located in the C0 sector, so some things went south. And now lots of my clothes are radiated. So check this out. When we turn on this Geiger counter, you can see that lots of my clothes are radiated. And when we go to metabolism, when we go to health, it says here that I have this radiation presence. And in order to get rid of that radiation presence, we have to decontaminate our items. I've already done a little bit of research. I've done some testing. In order to decontaminate your items, you need to have some soap and you need to go in the water and then you can wash your clothes so let's sort of hop over here let's stand here in the water and i do have here a bar of soap except probably we'll need to buy some more soap but hey, luckily we are located here near the trader so we'll be able to buy here some more soap and as you can see my hat here has 0.3 sieverts of radiation so we are definitely gonna wash it there we go we're gonna click on hat let's click wash it and there we go, we've just washed the hat and I can probably get this thing and that's it. Now my marine cap no longer has that radiation. I'm curious if I'll drop the entire camouflage jacket because it has 0.6 sieverts of radiation and lots of these screwdrivers have some radiation as well. What if I just wash my entire thing? Maybe you need to click wash all. There we go, just clicked wash all and how about now? Nope. There's still radiation. We still have some radiation and that radiation presence keeps going up. And we've also ran out of soap, so we'll have to go now and buy some soap. And on top of that, we need to buy lots of other things, such as buying another backpack, because as I said last time, we've lost lots of gear. But luckily, we still have lots of cash, so everything's fine. And let's try to buy some soap bars from this guy. Maybe let's buy three soap bars. Maybe that's too much, but I mean, they cost 300 cash. So let's just buy that. There we go. We've gotten it. And there we go. There's a body of water. So let's hop in. I know it's cold, mate, but we have to decontaminate our items. So now now let's try to wash this entire camouflage jacket. Maybe now it will decontaminate because I think we did not have enough soap to decontaminate it fully. But I think now it's going to work out just fine. We've used seven soap durability. Let's try to get that Geiger counter. Let's turn it on. And still a bunch of those things are radiated. That's interesting. All right, that's it. So finally, our camouflage jacket is decontaminated. I had to wash every single screwdriver manually. Let's wash our earplugs. Well, let's buy five more bars of soap. To be honest, when I think about it, maybe it would have been just cheaper to rebuy new clothes. But you know what? I want to wash them. I want to decontaminate them. And I kind of wanted to test out this feature as it's somewhat of a new feature, even though it's been out in the game for a few months. And speaking of new features, there's been a new update in the game. So now bicycles are back in the game. That huge town that's located in this D4 and D3 sector. Now it's going to have lots of smoke lots of fog or whatever you want to call it it'll be very similar to this nuclear power plant and for those that played multiplayer and build bases there now there are some sort of dial locks some people are not happy about it because you will no longer be able to raid bases with lock picks but i can't really talk much about that as i've never raided any bases here in this game especially with lock picks but the biggest change in this game was the accumulated fatigue so now you have to sleep and rest some things might change by the time this video comes out but hey, who knows what's going to happen in the future all i know is that now we're getting sick when I go to health, we have this ARS cell degradation. So we need to do something about that radiation. Maybe I need to get rid of my... Whatever, let's start washing everything. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The radiation presence is gone. So I have decontaminated all of the items. But we still have this acute radiation syndrome. There aren't many things left for us to do. We just need to wait to get rid of this radiation presence. And that's it. And it's probably going to take us quite a while. We have some potassium iodide pills. So what... If I eat one, will that help me out or something? That's it, we have started treating everything. ARS is going down, radiation presence is going down because of these potassium iodide pills. It has definitely helped us out. So last time I was still able to get some loot, so we have gotten this backpack and some other things, but check this out. This improvised metal chest does have a little bit of radiation, and when I take out this backpack, it has one sievert of radiation, so I need to get rid of that stuff. We need to sell that garbage to the traders. If this box here has 0.2 sieverts of radiation, can I wash it off? Can I decontaminate it? There we go, we can wash this box. I've just decontaminated the box, didn't I? Yeah, I just decontaminated the box. We still need to wash these backpacks though, but the box is decontaminated. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now we have here this box with these radiated items. So let's try to sell them as fast as possible to get the least amount of radiation. There we go. Let's just drop them here. There we go. Let's sell some of these things. More things. The backpack. And now let's sell these random masks. And there we go. We sold everything, I guess. I don't think there's anything left for us to sell to this guy. There are actually a few more boxes that we need to decontaminate. Luckily, we don't have to decontaminate the vehicle. I'd have to wash the entire vehicle with soap. But hey, let's go here. Let's take out this Geiger counter and check this out. We have this box and this box still has a little bit of radiation. It says zero, zero sieverts, but I still think we should wash this box. So let's drop it in the water. 
and let's try to decontaminate it. There we go. We just washed that box. It no longer has the radiation in it. There's one more thing that we need to decontaminate and it's this box. I also need to sell the night vision goggles and I also need to sell this face masher because it has 6.6 .6 sieverts of radiation and that is ridiculous. Maybe I can drop it quickly and decontaminate it if that's gonna work. There we go. Let's try to decontaminate it. So we'll need to decontaminate this thing many times because it still has six sieverts of radiation. So we can't just decontaminate like that with a snap of a finger. What I could do though is sell that radiated garbage to the trader. Every time we take out that sledgehammer with six sieverts of radiation, I keep getting back this ARS and I need to pop another potassium iodide pill. So that thing is serious. Let's try to sell it as fast as we can, like in a second. All right, so we're going to sell the night vision goggles and this thing. There we go, quickly. Let's sell it. Sold it. And night vision got sold it. That's it, sold everything. And probably my radiation went back up. I'm almost sure about it. Let's go to metabolism. Oh no, it didn't go back up because we were quick enough. We were fast. And that is it. We are finally radiation free. There are no items that cause any radiation. Now we can just start healing here a little by little. Everything's gonna be fine. And I think it's time for us to buy a new backpack. So let's get this camo hiking backpack. There we go. Finally, we have our gear back. I also just bought five extra boxes of 762 ammo. So I'm just eating here some canned spaghetti. And from what I've read, you can also eat different types of food and that stuff will help you to reduce your accumulated fatigue. So my accumulated fatigue's been at 1.6. Now it's at 1.1. So it does drop. So maybe accumulated fatigue isn't that bad. All you have to do is just eat normal food and maybe you don't really have to sleep constantly. I mean, literally it's been at 1.6. Now it's at 1.0. It drops really quickly once you eat something nice. So canned spaghetti is good. Maybe finally normal foods in this game are gonna make more sense. And that's it, my accumulated fatigue is back at zero. That's it, it just dropped. And also my feet were wet, so I decided to drop some of these clothes here just to dry that stuff. Well, that's it, my socks are no longer wet. I no longer have wet feet. Let's now destroy this campfire. And there's one more thing that I'd like to do. I'd like to deposit 10,000 cash. There we go, let's enter our password. Our password is one. Let's deposit. And we have 13K cash in our hands. So how about we deposit just 10K? So in total, we have almost 35,000 thousand cash in our bank account and there's one more thing that i'd like to mention now we can buy here screwdrivers for 5500 cash i decided to add them because lock picking here is really hard especially if you don't have the lock picking skill for it and i only have here basic level of lock picking so we should be able to at least buy those screwdrivers otherwise there is no way i'll get enough of those screwdrivers and we can also buy here some advanced lock picks so i'll be probably buying that stuff if we ever decide to go back I'm to that awesome. nuclear power plant so while we're at it maybe let's buy one of these screwdrivers i'm gonna put it in the car there we go let's get that and also maybe let's buy six of those advanced lockpicks. We're going to pay 4k for that. So that was very expensive, but we need to get our hazmat suit back. So we need to go back to bunkers well. and hopefully that's going to be at least enough, at least for now. I don't want to spend all the cash that we have here. I still have here some other screwdrivers in the car, but that's not a lot. So it took us over an hour to buy everything here to get rid of that radiation, etc., etc. But hey, finally, let's leave this place. So little by little, we are going to a town that's located in this D2 sector over here. But now we are located at the dam. So how about we stop the vehicle? Let's deal with a few zombies. Let's try to loot this place. And also there was one more thing that we have lost that I did not buy today. And that was a golden desert eagle because I think it costs about 9,000 cash. So it is quite expensive. Also, speaking of expensive things, now we need more cash in order to buy those screwdrivers and buy those advanced lockpicks because we will have to get that hazmat suit. And I'm still thinking on going back into the C0 sector because we've been there only once. So I'd love to go there once again. Also, there is an insane amount of zombies, and I haven't mentioned it yet, but these zombies do 100 times more damage than usual, so they can kill us with just one attack. And on top of that, we are playing with boosted zombie spawn count, so as you can see, there are more zombies here already. So let's probably get them. Okay, I have no idea why it's set on auto, but we need to switch it. Okay, like this. There we go. Now it's on single. You have to hold shift and left mouse button and right mouse button to check and with left mouse button to switch. Okay. You know what? Call me crazy, but I have a bit better idea. We have a sniper rifle. Nothing happened to it. So we could definitely get our sniper rifle. Let's put it here on the back. I'm sure we have a decent amount of bullets. All right. Let's check if we have 10 bullets here. We should have. Okay. We have 11 bullets. That is good. So let's start dealing with some of these schmucks. Again, we don't really have to use this sniper rifle, but I think it's kind of fun to use it. There we go. One of those schmucks exploded. There we go. Oh, no, we missed that one. Okay, didn't miss this one. Do we have any other zombies chase us? There we go. One shot. Another zombie. There we go. Another zombie. You know what? It was kind of fun to use the sniper rifle. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was definitely fun. Let's check how many bullets we got left. We still got four bullets. You know what? If we'll ever need to use that sniper rifle, we'll use it. Now, let's get our AK. Everything is almost recovered here in the metabolism. The radiation presence is going down. 
Everything is fine. Let's try to loot these toilets because I assume these things are gonna be like some sort of... Maybe they're not toilets. Wait, I don't know. Let's deal with this zombie. There might be some more of them here. But something tells me that we have dealt with most of the zombies. So I don't think there's anyone left. Well, we've gotten zombies really far away from us. Check this out. That zombie is dead. I thought it's kind of closer. So yeah, the 12 times scope is definitely worth it. Okay, so let's open this up. Nope. So these were actually toilets and the first toilet is empty. Another toilet is empty and probably one more toilet. Okay, this wasn't a toilet and it's empty. So now there was also another sound effect added to the game when you click tab. Now there's like some sort of a sound effect. And when you switch between these tabs, there's also a sound effect here. And I'll keep an eye on this accumulated fatigue because once again, it has accumulated to 1.8 stamina units. So that means I have less and less stamina. I think my character is hungry again. So we will definitely have to eat some things. We won't be hungry and we will reduce that accumulated fatigue. Because obviously the more we run, the more things we do, the more stamina we lose. But by eating food, we can reduce that fatigue. So I have some of these crackers. How about I eat some of them? Will that thing go up? So look at this. Our accumulated fatigue now drops even when we are standing just because we've eaten these crackers. So that's kind of cool. What if I drop these crackers and what if we eat this tuna salad MRE? Maybe it's one of the better ones. So for eating this MRE salad, our accumulated fatigue change will be dropping even faster. And there we go. I have eaten that tuna salad MRE and my accumulated fatigue is now at minus 14, minus 11. So it definitely has helped us. Seriously, all you have to do is just basically eat normal food and you will lose that accumulated fatigue. You don't really have to sleep for an hour, some people said. And probably some things are already different because by the time this video comes out, I'm sure developers are gonna release some more hot fixes because that's what always happens. Developers added these hand abrasions to the game and then they've adjusted that stuff. So I'm sure that they'll adjust some more things here. I don't think we should worry about that because I don't think we'll actually have to sleep here in the game for an hour and look at the screen on how our character lies on the ground for an hour. Because if that's gonna be the case, I'm sure there'll be lots of outcry in the community and developers are gonna fix some things. Well, in any case, let's quickly loot this place. Place. Let's see if we can find anything useful. As always, there's nothing useful in these attics. Nothing. An empty box. <laughs> what an amazing stop. So now I'm laying down here to restore some of that fatigue. And you know what? It's not really that great. It does take quite a while to restore it. So I'm not saying that this accumulated fatigue here is perfect. Because currently when we eat foods, I don't think those foods have any descriptions of how much accumulated fatigue they restore. So we don't really know which foods are good, which foods are bad, unless I miss something. So I'm not saying that this accumulated fatigue feature is needed in this game, because I don't think we have to lay down and rest and look at the screen on how our character sleeps or rests, as I don't really think that's gameplay. But uh, eating some foods is definitely not that bad. All right, let's get our sniper rifle and let's deal with some of these guys real quick. Another one and another one. There we go. That is something. I think now we can quickly perhaps reload our magazine in the sniper rifle. And then I'll probably drop it back in the vehicle as we don't really need to use it here. Because the sniper rifle is cool and all, but I don't think we're gonna fight all of these zombies with this sniper rifle. There we go. Let's put it back here in the backpack. It fits here perfectly. Now we'll drive the car a little bit closer and we're gonna start loading everything. I'm still gonna pick up every single screwdriver as these screwdrivers are very expensive. And I do believe that we'll need like hundreds of them in order to lockpick anything inside of the nuclear power plant if we ever decide to go back there in any case we need to get our hazmat suit first so we will have to get that Alrighty, let's hop in some of these bases in some of these buildings and now i'm ready to get lots of loot i'm gonna pick up everything i find well almost everything i'm not gonna pick up garbage but i want to take care as much loot as possible to get more cash there we go there's already a zombie sleeping let's get one zombie and it looks like it's kind of quiet okay i see a zombie outside let's get it okay i thought i missed that shot I missed some shots, and there we go. We finally got that other zombie here. And speaking of lockpicking, there is, like, in-game skill that you can increase in order to lockpick better. But there's also your own IRL skill on how good you are at lockpicking. And some people literally practice lockpicking, like, half an hour every single day. So I don't know how I feel about it. You know, let's say dumping 10 hours into lockpicking to get better at lockpicking. I don't know if that's a good feature or not, but some people like it. So who am I to judge it? So little by little, I will be practicing more lockpicking so that we get a bit better because 
I won't be able to lockpick any lockers because, okay, let's deal with another zombie here because for those who didn't know, when you lockpick with gloves, it gets a little bit harder and that hazmat suit, I'm sure it has like insulating rubber gloves or something. So it's really hard to lockpick with those gloves. With basic skill here that we have, plus me not having lots of experience lockpicking in this game, it's going to be near impossible to lockpick those lockers in the nuclear power plant. So we need like literally hundreds of those lockpicks, hundreds of screwdrivers in order to even have a chance. And I don't want to try that out because I still think it's kind of interesting. Okay, so this place is kind of empty. I think we can drive the vehicle a bit closer. It doesn't have to stay that far away from us. We go. Let's put it back here. Let's hop in the vehicle. And hey, while we're going closer, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more Scum Survival videos. Let's try to hit 500 likes. Thank you guys for all of your support. You are amazing. Thank you for leaving all the comments. And now I think we can hop over here. I don't think I've looted this place yet. I think I heard a zombie outside. Nothing here. Nothing here. And there are a few zombies outside. Where did they appear from? How did they hear me with a silencer here? I don't have the slightest clue. But I, I'm ready to get him. There's got to be a zombie outside. I can hear it. Okay, we got to kind of dodge it as it can still attack us through the window. All right, and sadly, this place didn't have anything too crazy. Let's open the door. I'm sure there might be another zombie somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's in the house. Let's deal with this guy. And I think it's kind of quiet. There are no more zombies around this place. It is crazy how we are getting zero items today. We used to get some nice loot, but now it's almost empty. Every single box that we open here, it's almost empty. I don't get it. Maybe some things here have changed after the update. Maybe now we get less loot. I don't know. In any case, but every single thing is not found. Not found. I don't get it. All right, there is a zombie. Let's deal with this guy. Well, at least we found here some shoes and the uh, Santa jacket. Where was it? I saw a Santa jacket. There go. There is a Santa jacket. I will take it. I'll try to sell it. Like, we need at least something. Because so far here, we've gotten nothing. Like, look at this. This box had nothing. This thing had nothing. I don't get it. I am, like, honestly, seriously confused. Maybe developers have changed something. I'll need to change... I'll need to check those settings later. All right, let's go here into the second floor. I think there's a zombie. And it's awake. And it's not happy. Okay, let's get it. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, there's a zombie here. How did it get here? I could have just died from it. It was probably on the first floor here in this room, in the bathroom, but I have no idea how I haven't seen it when I came in here. I could have just died. All right, so we've looted some of these buildings. I think we might quickly hop in the car. Maybe I can bring the vehicle even a little bit closer. There you go. Let's hop in the car. Let's park it around this place. And I have no idea how much of the town we have already looted. Maybe 20%. I don't know, maybe 30. All I know is that there is a police department. So I'm having high hopes for the police department. Maybe the police department is going to have at least something. What I do know, though, is that we can get this box. Inside of this box, we can start dropping things that we'll sell to traders. And that is it. We no longer have that radiation presence. Everything's fine. We have cured everything. Everything is great now. So accumulated fatigue is going lower. So once we are digesting tuna salad, the accumulated fatigue goes lower. So even when we run and we do some things, accumulated fatigue still goes lower because we have eaten something. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Well, we have one more house. We can check this out. Oh, all the boxes were absolutely empty. Not a single thing in it. Okay, there's got to be a zombie here. There we go. Goodbye. I mean, there is something wrong. I haven't gotten a single thing yet out of these boxes. Okay, let's deal with a zombie. Maybe I need to reload the game or something because I haven't gotten a single thing. I've opened up so many boxes and not a single box had any loot. Wait, am I just unlucky or something's crazy happening? Look at this, empty. Like, usually we'd get at least some garbage or at least something, but none of these boxes have loot. None of them. I've just realized that. Oh, there we go. We have gotten actually some rags. So, okay, it is possible to get things, except it's extremely rare for some reason now. So that was the first thing that we've gotten from looting a box. A dirty rag. Okay, perhaps let's hop in here. There will be a zombie, probably. There's always one. Let's get it. And there we go. Now it's finally quiet. Sounds like that zombie was making lots of noise anyways. There is a zombie outside, though, making some noise now. Uh, so we will have to deal with it. You know what? I'm not scared. I can open up the door. I can wait for them. And then we'll get him. There we go. That was a very polite zombie. It just shoved its head very quietly and stood there like, hello. And I said hello with my bullet as well. Well, I've reloaded the game. Maybe now something is going to change. Doesn't matter. All I want to do now is go and loot that police department. I want to get at least something. Okay, let's get this zombie over here. All right, do we have anything? Nope, we've just gotten some wires. Don't really know if I can sell these wires. You know what? I'm going to grab them. Like, maybe that general store's goods guy is gonna buy them. Okay, there is a zombie. Sleep. Okay, we have gotten here a tactical sweater. So, you know what? We can still find some loot. 
It's not really in the boxes, but at least it's around this place. So, okay, I like that then. So at least we are getting something. At least we're not gonna leave this town empty-handed. And also there will be a pharmacy somewhere. And this time I wanna keep some medical bandages around me. So just in case things go south, I'll be able to at least patch up my wounds with those medical bandages. Because I always thought that if zombies do 100 times more damage, I don't really need to carry any medical kits with me. But, but if there is a beeping zombie, if that zombie explodes in front of me, I don't die instantly. I do get a little bit of damage, so I should be able to patch up my wounds at least from those explosions. But guess what? I sold all of my painkillers. I've sold all of those healing items. So that's why we died at that nuclear power plant. We've gotten here a police backpack. Let's get it. We are going to sell that. So at least we are getting something, all right? At least we're getting stuff around the world. I wish there was maybe more loot like that so that you don't constantly have to loot boxes so that maybe you could find more loot in the world itself, not inside of boxes. Well, in any case, we are getting here at least something. And I am gonna take that something, even if it's just little something. All right, we've gotten here a paddle. I think I can put it on my back. There we go, I'm just taking every garbage <laughs> that I find. I didn't think that we're gonna do it, but I think it's kind of fun. There we go, let's get a police hat. And I think there is a zombie on the second floor. Let's get it closer. Welcome. Go to sleep now. All right, we have looted this building. Let's close it. There's one of those, and then there is a shop. We're gonna definitely hop in the shop. Okay, there is a zombie here. Maybe I should check how many bullets I got left because I've been spraying with this weapon now for a while. Well, I wasn't spraying, but I was shooting. We still have 28 bullets. That's enough. That's enough for a while. Let's get the wrench pipe. We will get it. And another good thing that happened to us when we died is we were able to get a new backpack. So I was able to reset all of my loot because we had lots of garbage in my inventory. You, you knew that. And I thought that we need everything that I had in that backpack. But now I've lost some of the things and I don't even know what I've lost. I've re-added some of the things back to the backpack and everything's cleaner now. We've just cleaned our inventory. So you know what? Maybe that death at that nuclear power plant wasn't that bad, right? Let's look at the bright sides. In any case, that nuclear power plant was extremely fun. It is kind of dark because of all of that smoke. You can't really see almost anything there, but that's what it's all about, right? It has some nice atmosphere. Also, now they've added the same atmosphere to that D4 sector, to that huge town. I've already said that. And I don't really know how I feel about it. So I'll need to read some of your comments. I need to gather some more feedback before I talk about it. But I've tried going there into that town with my other account. And you know what? It is kind of dark there. It does have like that nuclear power plant atmosphere. But I don't really know if it fits in that city. As it is really, really dark. But I don't know. We'll have to go there. We'll have to test it. We'll have to play there to say anything about it. All right. There is a zombie. Let's get it. And there is another one. Wake up. Goodbye. So these lockers seriously have almost nothing. I mean, not almost nothing, but they have nothing. We've gotten some hiking boots. So at least we're getting some loot in the world, right? At least we're getting some stuff that way. Oh, there's an ATM. Okay, that's good. Let's check this out. Maybe we'll get something decent. Now, nah, all of these crates are empty. Even the trash bag, uh, the trash bin is empty as well. Ridiculous. Well, at least we've gotten a small toolbox and it does fit here inside of this camouflage jacket. So let's get it. We have here one more garage. So yeah, I don't even know if it's worth it to loot these boxes as the only thing that I've gotten from looting like maybe 30 to 40 boxes is a rag. So maybe the loot doesn't exist. Only loot on the ground spawns. Okay. Well, we do get here some feathers. So at least we get feathers and I see a zombie. Uh, where it's going to appear from, I don't know. So I'll try to be kind of careful. We've got a new pickaxe. I think I can put that pickaxe on the back for now. There's a zombie here. Goodbye! Every time I see them run towards that window, I always get scared because they can just punch it through that window. It does happen. It is possible. Alrighty, before we hop into this police department, as I said, there's got to be some loot in that other place. In this grocery store. Usually it always has something nice on the ground. A weapon or something else. There we go. Let's get this zombie. Running so close to these zombies is kind of silly. Let's open the door. Okay, there is a screwdriver. Definitely, let's get that. Because if my gun jams or something, I'll be in big, big trouble. So we have gotten these black olives. My accumulated fatigue goes down little by little because we still have a little bit of that tuna salad. But that's pretty much it. We need to eat something else in order to get rid of that accumulated fatigue. So I'm sure developers are going to change it. Everything's going to be fine. I don't think this accumulated fatigue is going to break the game. All right, let's get this skill. Let's get this beanie. So there is some loot here. It's not that bad. So usually there's a weapon behind the counter, except not this time. This time we got nothing. Oh, we've gotten some yoga leggings. 
Let's get the yoga leggings. And we have gotten some big fireworks. Uh, they fit here in the tactical military paint, so I might as well just get them. Some of you said that we can also attract zombies with fireworks. I've never tried it, but you know what? Let's drop that thing in the car and maybe one day we'll try to use it somewhere. I think I've used it once. It, it has made some noise, but I don't know if it actually attracted any zombies. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Let's get out of here. We have here a few garages. We have here a pharmacy. So let's check all of that stuff out. First of all, we got a store. Hopefully this store will have something a bit better loot than nothing, right? Just whatever. A few random beanies. I just want to get at least some profit. I want to get at least something. There we go. Some more fireworks. And these fireworks are at 100% durability. There was a zombie here. I didn't even see it. Okay, thanks for waking up and screaming. If that zombie didn't scream, I would have died. All right, so for some reason, these stores didn't spawn anything besides that firework. Okay, we did get the fireworks. So we did get here this nylon thick line. Let's get it. We also have something in the safe. Nope, the safe was empty. All right, let's go further. I'm excited to go into this pharmacy. I want to get whatever items, like bandages. Actually, I don't want to get rags. Rags are really nice, but getting bandages, especially maybe a pack of bandages. Because in that pack of bandages, you can store five bandages, right? So I would love to do that. We could grab bundle of... Oh my goodness! Did you see that? It was already about to swing. I could have just died right here, right now, in this simple town. In a pharmacy. That would have been my first death. I've never died in a pharmacy. That seriously would, would have been my first ever death. Alright, so it looks like none of these boxes have anything. Okay, at least we've gotten some construction boots. And they do fit here in our tactical military pants. I will take those. Anything else here? I'm trying to walk with that vicinity open. Maybe this way we'll see better. We'll see some more loot. Okay, nothing else here. I'm sure there are some zombies on the other side of the wall. Because I can hear it. That's how I know those zombies are there. Because I can hear those schmucks. Nothing here, no zombies. I mean, we did get here this disposable mask, but I'm not picking it up. It's only like 18 cash. And you know what? We are not selling that kind of garbage. I might take whatever random things. I might take those paddles. But I am not selling those disposable masks. Last time, I think I got like 10 of them, maybe 20 of them. And I sold them like for like 200 cash. That wasn't worth it at all. It took so much space in the vehicle. Alrighty, we have looted almost everything here. Then there are a few garages and then the police department. I just want to hop here. Okay, another backpack and some more shoes. I need to get it. A zombie has woken up somewhere. I don't know where, but it has woken up somewhere. Taking this backpack is going to be kind of hard as it does take lots of space. So I don't know what I'll do with it. I'm going to keep that door open. And you know what we could do? We could probably bring our vehicle here closer to this police department. So let's do that. Let's drop all of this garbage that we've gotten. Let's sell all of it. There we go. Let's drop these things. We're going to sell here everything. And now let's hop in the vehicle and let's bring it a little bit closer to that police department. As there is still that backpack that I want to get at least... That's like 100, maybe 200 cash. So little by little, we are getting more loot. Might not be an insane amount of loot, but we are getting some loot nonetheless. All right, so I'm going to drive with the vehicle here to this spot. And I think some zombies have woken up. I'm going to leave this car. I'll whip out an AK. And that's it. I am ready if somebody comes from behind. I don't think so. I think it's kind of quiet. Okay, so let's deal with the zombie up there. But before we do it, let's get the backpack here. There we go. It fits in my own backpack. Backpack fits in the backpack. Genius. Okay, let's make some space. Let's drop this thing on the ground. This goes there, and there we go. That's it. We sorted it out. Oh my goodness, the zombie was just here. And there's another one on the second floor. Let's get it. Maybe I should be using the red dot a bit more often. Yeah, nothing in these things. So yeah, maybe we can just get load from the ground, and that's it. Because we don't really get anything from these things yet. We've gotten here some party glasses. Before, you could sell that stuff for an insane amount of cash. Now, I still think you can sell it for something. I don't think you'll get, like, an insane amount of cash now. You'll just get something decent, and that's it. All right, let's loot now a few garages. So, yeah, for those glasses, maybe you'll get, like, 20, 30 cash, maybe 40 cash. Which is not that bad. They don't take that much space. So, we'll get them lime soda. I don't think we need that lime soda. We've gotten another screwdriver. Oh, wait, now we are getting loot. All right, so it looks like we have started getting some more loot. There is some more 9mm ammunition. Let's get it. And look at this. These boxes started having some loot. I have no idea what happened, but they did not have these things. Maybe only garages have it. So, I think something might have happened because we have started getting loot again. There we go. We have gotten here some boots. Let's get these boots. 
But look at these. These boxes have started having loot. I'm not gonna say no to that. I will get it. There we go. Let's get a motorcycle jacket. Okay, okay. So things have changed. So finally, at least we'll be able to loot that police department properly. There we go. I am ready for it. Hopefully the police department is gonna be loaded. I wanna get some random stuff. Okay, there's one more garage. Let's hop into that garage. And then we will hop into that police department. There we go. Let's check that. I don't think we've been here yet. There's no way I've been in this garage yet. We've gotten this extreme helmet. Let's get that extreme helmet. Okay, so not every box has loot. I ha I don't I don't understand that. So it's like half of the town has loot and another half of the town does not have any loot. What? I kind of don't understand. I am honestly a little bit confused. Well, in any case, we did get here some items. So let's open that stuff up. Let's drop some stuff here in the box. And you know what? Even though we are not getting lots of loot inside of those boxes, but we at least have gotten something. I mean, lots of these items don't really sell for an insane price, but that is loot nonetheless. That is cash. And now we'll get it. All right, let's see how many bullets we got left. A zero. That's it. We have to definitely reload. Imagine I went close to a zombie and I started shooting it. I would have died. All right, let's reload that thing. And we have definitely accumulated some of the fatigue. So now it's at 2.3. So I can't have lots of fatigue. So the longer we play, the more fatigue we accumulate. And then I won't be able to restore my stamina units. So I think the highest we can go is 96% right now. So we can only have 96% stamina, which it'll keep dropping lower and lower. So what I'll try to do is perhaps eat more things because we have eaten this tuna salad. And that's it. Maybe we need to eat something better. Maybe if you eat something warm, can you cook in this game? And also, speaking of cooking, developers have teased more things. So it looks like you'll be able to cook more things in the game. Maybe cooking is going to be more advanced. And maybe now... You'll cook warm food, and that warm food will restore your fatigue faster. Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We have here these spaghetti with meatballs. There we go. Just finished eating it. And look at this. Minus 27. It even jumped to minus 30-something. This is not that bad. Minus 29, minus 36, minus 30. So yeah, eating cane spaghetti, eating a bit better food, right? Definitely reduces your accumulated fatigue. So now it's at 2.0. And let's loot this police department and let's see how fast it's gonna drop. So we'll be moving around, we'll be doing things. There is a zombie. Oh wow, lots of zombies have woken up. And at least we're getting some loot in the police department. Okay, so maybe not all the loot is available in this place, but at least some of these things are available. There we go, some bullets. Okay, nothing here. And there are lots of zombies on the outside. An insane amount of zombies. Let's get these medical gloves and everything. I'm gonna get... All of that. Let's see how many bullets we got left. Uh, 74 bullets. AK is at 85% durability. That's not that good. Things might go south. I don't have any grenades. I got nothing. I mean, we just have to take a risk then. Okay. There will be some zombies coming out. Okay, okay. Okay. I got some of them. I think it's kind of quiet. There is another zombie upstairs, probably. All right, let's try to close the door. And I'm gonna loot some of the lockers that I haven't looted yet. Okay, so we haven't lockpicked any of those things. And I don't have any bobby pins, so hopefully I'll get some bobby pins here. As I don't want to use my advanced lockpicks. As that would be very, very silly. The last thing I want to do is use any advanced lockpicks. We got nothing here. I also feel like we can drink coffee, and coffee can give us some stamina as well. It can restore some stamina. You know what I feel? Okay, we did get some loot. Maybe only some of the boxes give loot, and not all the boxes. Okay, there's a zombie here. Let's go to the second floor. Okay, we got this zombie. I don't know where they'll be coming out from. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, I think it's pretty quiet now. Okay, so this police department definitely had lots of zombies. Sometimes it has less, but this time we had a decent amount of them. Let's go to the second floor. And yes, indeed, the second floor had a zombie. So let's... It's not a second floor, it's the rooftop. So let's check the rooftop. Let's get this tank shirt. Let's get everything we can get here. What I need to do, though, is find some bobby pins. There we go, finally, box of safety pins. More safety pins. There we go, let's get it. We have gotten some more soap, except we already have lots of soap. I think we have like three or four bars of soap in the vehicle, so we don't need more soap here. I've never looted this thing. I never even knew that it's possible to loot it, but look at this, guys. There's this mirror, and you can actually loot it. So here we've gotten a safety pin and some plastic scissors. Alrighty, so let's start looting. I think we're gonna start looting from this room over here, so let's close the door. Let's take out a few bobby pins. Alrighty, there we go. We got a few of those bobby pins, and let's start lockpicking it. 
And we have gloves. Wait, I'm gonna remove my gloves because I have no idea why I have these medical gloves. I probably double tapped them. There you go, we have lockpicked one of these lockers. There you go, we have lockpicked another locker here as well. That's it. So inside of this locker, we have gotten a Wushu spear. Let's get that Wushu spear. I think last time I sold it for maybe 400 cash. We have gotten some more bullets, uh, 0.45 bullets. Here we have gotten a baton. I don't know for how much we can sell it. Never sold it. I don't think I've ever even seen it in this game. Wait, what? How does it look like? I mean, it's not that bad, probably. Well, there we go. We have a baton now. We are going to sell it for sure. All right, let's open up this door. Let's close it. And we have here a few more lockers to loot these ones and then lockers on the top. And there we go. We have lock picked another one. That's it. Here we've gotten an M9 magazine. I will get it. We have lots of M9 magazines, so we'll probably sell those. We have gotten some 9mm armor piercing bullets. And there we go. We have a few more boxes. <laughs> These ones. We have two more lockers that need to be locked in. You know what? The police department wasn't that bad. I really expected here to get some less loot, especially when we've gotten less loot throughout this entire town. So getting here at least some loot was worth it. There we go. We have gotten another one. And there we go, we have lockpicked another one. Some shotgun shells. And perhaps here's something useful. Another baton! Okay, let's get it. Two batons. I've gotten zero batons throughout the entire game, and today we've gotten two of them. Alrighty. I don't know how to repair those batons, though, because they're not at full durability. Maybe there's a way to repair them with a toolkit? Because I'm sure that fully repaired batons will give us more things. And also, wait, let's go to metabolism now. And stamina, that's it, we have restored everything. Accumulated fatigue, zero. So all we have to do is just eat basically canned spaghetti. So canned spaghetti with meatballs or whatever else, like basically canned food here is like energy for you. Just eat that and that's it. You will no longer have any accumulated fatigue. All right. So you can repair this baton using a toolbox. All righty. I don't really know if it's worth it to sell these toolboxes or repair things with it. We'll have to check it out. In any case, let's get that baton and we'll try to sell it. So let's leave this down. It wasn't the sickest place, but I still feel like we have gotten some profit. So Sonic from the Future cross off this place, off the map. And it looks like we're going to get here an airdrop. Check this out. It's pretty close to us. So let's go and get it as it's been a while since we've looted one. There we go. We got the airdrop. So let's park the vehicle. I think we have enough screwdrivers. Let's check it out. We have this small screwdriver and that is pretty much it. We have another small. No, that's the same small screwdriver. So how about we open up one of these boxes as I'm sure here we have have more of those tiny screwdrivers. So let's get here some of these random screwdrivers. That's more than enough. And let's open this box. As I said, it has been seriously a while. No, don't cut it. Open the door. Okay, it's not here then. We can open up the door from the other side. Please tell me I can open it up. Uh, what is going on? Excuse me, sir. Well, that does work. Welcome. We still have about 19 minutes, so we just got here. Say, so let's start lockpicking. Hopefully none of the zombies are gonna get here. We need to take out a few bobby pins. One, two, three. Probably six of them. Six bobby pins is gonna be enough. At least, you know what? These airdrops don't have insane locks on them. Because I think there are four types of locks in this game. There's a basic lock. Like this simple lock that we have here. And in police departments. Then there's an iron lock. Then I think there's a silver lock and a golden lock. But that iron lock becomes like so much harder than this basic lock that it's insane. If I had to put it into numbers. Let's say difficulty of opening up this lock is... I don't know about maybe two or maybe one, then an iron lock goes all the way up to nine. Like that is actually crazy. Okay, there we go, we did it. That was quite easy. Again, these lockers are like super easy to lockpick compared to like even iron lockers. We have gotten to hear those enforced locks. Let's get them. I mean, each of them costs 800 cash unless developers have changed some prices. But hey, there we go. We have gotten just now 800 cash for each of those things. We have gotten some nice guns, dude. It's been a long time since we've gotten any guns in this game. Okay. Okay, okay, this one is pretty decent. I like it. We can add here perhaps some sort of a scope, and this is going to be a 5.56 five, weapon. We might maybe even start using this gun. Why not? It is kind of cool. I like it. It has seriously been a long time since we've gotten guns in these airdrops. So let's get it. We have gotten here a respirator. Let's get it. Let's get these medical gloves. Wait, what have I looted? What I haven't looted? I don't even know. Whatever, let's start looting from this side. We've gotten here some night vision goggles. I will put those because my old ones had lots of radiation, so I just sold them. We have gotten here a chainsaw. Nothing here. We have gotten... Okay, here we have some more ammunition. Let's get it. We've gotten a gas mask. Didn't mean to equip it. But I, let's get the rest of these items. Some ghillie on the weapons. Wait, what? Oh, we can wrap it up. Look at this. We can wrap this thing up in... 
ghillie straps or whatever they're called. The weapon ghillie, that's what, that's what it's called. So basically a ghillie suit for your weapons. Okay, let's keep it then. And I'm sure we should have here some more items. Nothing. And one more thing. We have gotten here some food. We've gotten some milk. I will get maybe like some milk. I will get some water and that's it. I'm going to drop the rest in the vehicle. So you know what? This airdrop was definitely worth it. Like 100% worth it. We have gotten ourselves a new weapon. So we no longer have to use only 7.62. We can also use this weapon right now, which is lovely. And I do think we have some ammunition for it. Except that ammunition is going to be at the base because for real, I started storing all of this ammo in the base. All of my 5.56 bullets are going to be at the base. But we have gotten four boxes of 5.56 ammunition. Plus we have a red dot. Wait, can I add that red dot to it? We have a red dot. Dude, this weapon is so cool with the red dot. That's it. We are using this one. One. <laughs> That's it. Our AK is going to take a break and we will have to use this VHS from now on. We'll obviously need to find a silencer for it, but that's not big of a deal. We will find it. I don't really know if now drinking milk is even worth it because milk is going to have some calories. So that means I won't be that hungry and that means I'll be able to eat less of that canned spaghetti and we need to eat that canned spaghetti in order to reduce our accumulated fatigue. So you know what? Milk maybe isn't that great. I'll keep it just to test it out on how much accumulated fatigue it can drop, but I feel like drinking milk is not gonna be worth it. We should just be drinking water from now on. So yeah, let's leave that airdrop and today was a productive day. We have rebought all of the items that we've lost. We've also gotten rid of the radiation. We found some loot that we will sell. And on top of that, we found that new VHS weapon that I've never used before, that 556 gun. So I'm so excited to check it out. But we're gonna be checking that stuff out in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you checking out my Sons of the Forest Let's Play. Click on the second card and go my Days Gone Let's Play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.